I'm already so much in Christmas mode, but I need to do something because I feel like a, I don't know, like a slob a little bit for all the going out. So I'm gonna go, and even if I just do half an hour, at least it's something. Morning, so I'm back from the gym. It was probably the most unproductive <laughs> gym session I've ever had because I forgot a go-go or a hair tie, whatever it's called. And yeah, I basically did like three sets of 12 squats and then sat on the bike for 40 minutes and burned like 150 calories. So I was going very slowly. <laughs> but sure, look, I probably burned more calories on the walk to the gym. Uh, it's better than not going at all, I suppose. Uh, I'm just trying to be a little bit more normal today um because i just feel like i've been eating and drinking non-stop so um yeah it was something and now for the day i'm going to just kind of tie up all the loose ends with work it's kind of quiet this week um and i didn't even realize so now i'm gonna sort out my wardrobe that has literally just been a mess the whole time behind me for vlogmas so i'm sorry if any of you are watching and you're like you know really tidy it probably has been bothering you a lot i'm going to sort it out sort out my shoe shelves get a couple of bags for a charity hopefully that i can clear out and at least and then they'll be there before christmas and yeah that's it oh and i'm so sorry i didn't vlog yesterday and um, that's another thing i don't have to do this morning so i'm like god i have so much time i don't know what to do with myself after vlogmas but i literally didn't do anything yesterday i just kind of took it easy slept in and chilled on the couch so it wouldn't have been a very entertaining vlog <laughs> but no it was nice it made me very excited to do a lot of that over christmas <laughs> okay time to tackle this absolute mess I think this is why I put it off going through my wardrobe because I'm going looking at everything I'm like maybe I could get rid of that and then I'm like oh no but I wear that even if I've only worn it once and then even just one jacket I haven't worn I just tried it on I was like oh but that's nice I might wear that <laughs> so I literally have all of these coats and not one of them am I gonna get rid of So I have cleared my wardrobe out and I have started planning for all of my Christmas outfits while I'm at home. It is not easy to plan for a week without your wardrobe, <laughs> especially over Christmas because there's so much on so I'm just trying to be organised and oh. Okay so I have to say I'm really happy with that progress. Um, you can see here all the hangers that I got rid of and I kind of know where everything is now. This is my new stuff, either dresses, jumpers, um, blazers and kind of bomber jackets. And then all of my coats are in here. So yeah, I know it's not probably the neatest in the world, but it's much better than it was. Um, and I got rid of a lot of stuff as well. And I've packed for, well not, not fully packed, but I've started packing for Christmas at home. So that's good. But um, I did a list of six, six different tips for helping you clear out your wardrobe. I'm definitely not an expert because as you can see or as you saw, I let it pile up a lot, but um, there I kind of learned some different tips that will help. So my first tip is to clear out old season stuff. So I found when I went to my wardrobe that I had like a few bits from summer, the um, summery tops, like I changed my wardrobe over usually in September. So, and the weather is nice then. So you kind of still have your summery tops and, um, dresses and stuff like that that would need to be hung during the summer but you know we literally have such a long winter here what is it six to eight months so you really don't need um them to be hanging in your wardrobe all the time taking up space i have storage boxes under my bed so um i just took out all the summery bits that were in there folded them and they're under the bed they're forgotten about i have so much more room now and it freed up a lot of hangers for me as well the second tip i have is have you overworn it like I find when I really love something I never want to let it go even if it's probably too um I don't know too bally or too overworn to be to continue to wear it so I have a lovely Karen Millen jacket and I actually didn't throw it out yet but I, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if I get through this winter with it then I, I won't throw it out but it is a little bit 
do you know I've worn it so much that it's a little bit destroyed now uh, it's white so it's very hard to keep obviously a white jacket but um, I got so much wear out of it the first year I got it that I just can't let it go yet but that is one, one of my tips if you've overworn it if it's not good enough quality to keep wearing it as much as you used to then just get rid of it make more space in your wardrobe and you might find something similar again soon the third tip is did you wear it last year that's something that I found really helped me today so there's certain things in there that I really like and I really like the style of it and everything but I just didn't wear it last year um, and I found even going through my my uh, wardrobe today a lot of work stuff that I probably won't wear again as much as I like them for work I'm not in work anymore so I don't need them so yeah if you, if you haven't worn it in a year then you're probably not going to wear it the next time winter comes around um, my fourth tip is do you own lots of similar things I find this happens to me a lot because I like the same colours, I like the same styles so I'll ha I could have like five white tops, five white off the shoulder tops and like realistically you only need one, maybe two so my advice there is just to pick your favourite ones and get rid of the other ones because you're only making, you're getting ready in the morning and picking out your outfit harder when you have so much to choose from um, yeah and it's just taking up extra room Okay, my last tip is do you have something you can wear it with? There's not really much point in keeping something if you don't have something you can wear it with and if you're, you know, you're not planning on wearing it in the future. So unless you're going to go out there and find something to wear it with, um, then there's no point in keeping something you, can't, you don't have something to wear it with. Because you won't wear it and it's just taking up room. So yeah, there are my five tips. Hopefully that's some bit helpful. It is like just such a job. I don't know how people stay on top of it all the time. I'm impressed and I really wish I could do that. But look, every now and again will do for the moment. <laughs>
Jillian brought some goodies and some non-alcoholic wine. <laughs> I'm over here slaving away in the kitchen and the girls are relaxing. It's actually way harder than it looks to cook all these things because they're all different minutes. But um, no, I'm joking. It's very easy. Anyone could do it. <laughs> Oh wait. <laughs> Here, what are we talking about? No, we're not talking about anything. <laughs> Normal chit chat, you know, the way American. Shut your mouth. Cooper is mad for all the chocolates and all the food. <laughs> He's not allowed to have any of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Please, what's going on with this thing? <laughs> we're just right. chilling. We're just having like wine and food and tea and, and chat. 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 Yeah. Okay guys, I'm just going to bed. The girls just left. It was such a nice day. I feel so much better that my room is organized. Um, I started packing to go home. It just feels like everything's starting to wind down now. So yeah, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll be back tomorrow with another one. And then how many have we got after that? So today was 18, so only six more videos. Let's just keep it up afterwards. Good night. <laughs>